Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office software. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you the out-of-the-box reporting options for the My Receipts application to include a little bit of OTBI. Please note that this lesson is part of the Discover Procurement course. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free discovery badges for display on your LinkedIn profile just by watching videos like this one? You can. Stay until the end of this video and I will show you how. Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this lesson are as follows. First, we'll pick a seated user that allows you to have access, right? The users control the access to the roles, which controls access to the data, which controls access to OTBI, etc. We'll start by looking at the user homepage and what's available there. Next, we'll look at the application homepage, which is really just a open PO lines when it comes to my receipts, but we'll look there. Then we'll look at the application search page. So where you can do this basic and advanced search. A lot of times people think of it as the manage receipts, manage POs, manage requisitions page. And then lastly, we'll take a look at OTBI, which is Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence. So it's a real-time query tool it's what they call QBI, QBE, query by example. So we can go in and create queries and reports. And you'll recognize them from the you know, examples we show in the first three or four different uh, agenda items or topics here. Lastly, it's worth noting that uh, particularly around something like OTBI, but even within my receipts, uh, we're, we're explaining what is available in terms of out-of-the-box reporting. We're not explaining how to create it, how to use it. We'll talk a little bit about how to enable it or turn it off or on. Um, but if you really wanna learn, hey, how do I set these up? How do I use this? How do I create a query in OTBI? How do I find this? Or how do I attach user-defined queries to my user homepage? This is gonna be more in the use or deploy videos around, in this case, my receipts. So that's it. Okay, so here we are logged into Fusion. And let's start with our seated users. So first you can see that we're logged in as Calvin Roth. So Calvin has both the role access to the right pages. And in this case, the My Receipts functionality. And Calvin has some data access to US1 business unit and probably other business units. So, so Calvin is the seated user, right? The user within the Oracle demo instances that you can use if you wanna go take a look and recreate what I'm doing here. So next up, we're on Calvin's homepage. And so if we scroll down, we'll see there's an analytics section and that analytics section is going to let me uh, link to certain pieces of information that you'll see here. Uh, and then furthermore, there's some source to settle specific infolets that I have down here that I can turn on or off, enable, disable, whatever the term is we wanna use. But those are some different ways that you're effectively putting reports. That's what you're seeing here in these infolets. So infolets often have data across applications versus info tiles have data just for one specific and uh, obvious example is AP has info tiles based on invoices that are electronically submitted through email, let's say. So um, and we'll, we'll talk and show a little bit more and we'll talk a little bit more about the analysis underneath these when we look at OTBI really quickly. But uh, important to know that this is the user homepage and that you have, or every user has some information that can be defined here. So we've seated user, we've used our homepage. Let's go look at our My Receipts application homepage. So to do that, I'm gonna select the procurement functional area and the My Receipts application. And that really takes us to a page. What really is doing is showing us open PO lines that are due any time that we are gonna receive against a particular business unit, right? So this isn't really OTBI per se, but what we can do here is we can certainly recognize that we have some additional fields that we can add here and search on that data. And you'll see this again in a minute. Um, actually, let's uh, we'll leave this particular section here um, so that's the application homepage. Next, we'll jump into what's called the application search page. So if I go to manage requisition, excuse me, manage receipts, now I have a page I can search on. And so from within here, I can then click advanced. That was the basic search. I can add additional fields that are provided here to my search criteria to further refine it. 
when I get results down here, I can also add or subtract different columns that are part of the data structures loaded uh, uh, related to receipts. Then once I have that data the way I want, I could export that to Excel. So that's another out of the box ish way that we can create reports. So we've we've gone through seated users. We looked at the home page the tiles there. We looked at the application homepage, which is the open PO lines. This is the application search page, the manage, if you will, basic and advanced page. Lastly, there's another option uh, called OTBI. So sometimes you can see OTBI here. We can't based on what this user has access to. So if we just go to the nav or the navigation menu in the upper left, we'll see here there's a series of different options. And if you open tools, there's something called reports and analytics. So we talked about those infolets and underneath them were QBE queries or what Fusion calls analysis. It's just a query. And so you have a couple of different ways that you can create them. You could go browse through the different data structures and manually assemble them. But we're just gonna show real quickly that I can create reports or analysis. So output or query and just by clicking that button. And what it does is it takes you into a train stop wizard I guess first it's going to ask me, what do I want to do? So I'm probably want to do something in procurement. And so I'm going to search just on procurement first. And so it limits down here. And so I might want to say, well, do I want spend? Do I want change orders? I probably want procure to pay, right? That gives me everything to include my receipts. So I just select that continue. And so you don't have to worry about the pages, the joins, the sequel, if you will. What's really nice here is that Fusion is, if you think about it, a user's on a page and they don't necessarily know what tables are underneath the page to provide the data. And so Oracle has said, you don't need to worry about any of that. You just tell us the, the object that you want. And so in this case, I want receipts and I want them related to all these other. And then it tells me all of the different data attributes related to receipts and more. And I can just go find my particular Let's see here, fire invoice. So I've got any number of different, I don't know where my receipt is. Um, let's say it was under purchase orders or something similar to that. Um, I just need to go find the fields that I want to put on a query. And then I can take all those different um, fields that are here. And just by double clicking them, they're going to appear out here. And so you need to, to troll through and find the attributes. So receipt ID, you know, uh, receipt information, quantity, accepted quantity, whatever it is, right? And you just add those selected columns here and walk through the rest of this uh, expert to go ahead and put together a query. You can just next, next, next until you submit it. And so when you submit it, you just need to find a home for it. It goes into a folder, um, but all fairly straightforward stuff. If you want to, again, as I said earlier, if you want to learn how to use OTBI or learn how to deploy OTBI, those are separate videos. But this sure, certainly should show you that you have access to these different subject areas and you can create OTBI queries on the fly pretty easily if the application homepage query tool or the application search page basic and advanced query tools don't work or aren't specific enough for you. So that's a little bit of how you get the out of the box information um, from, for my receipts within Fusion or Oracle Cloud. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Okay, as promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com and either sign in or join now, it's free. Step two, in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamir.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.